person on the tape. Oh, come on. Checking your stocks. You gotta say hi to the grandchildren. They're all gonna get this. Hi to the grandchildren? Uh-huh. Hello, grandchildren. <laughs> hi, y'all, grandchildren. <laughs> Are you checking your stocks? Yep. How you doing? Not too badly, not too badly. No? The market's been pretty good to me. <laughs> Just like my grandchildren, been pretty good to me. Pretty good? Like a and big... I got a Michigan a granddaughter by the name of Mandy Levenberg. <laughs> Can you define Michigana for the non-Yiddish? I'll say one thing about having Mandy around. There ain't no dull moments <laughs> around here. Okay, well, get used to this camera because we've got 24 hours. <laughs> well, that's, that's your that's your business. Okay, well, uh, just we'll keep you keep us posted on the stocks today. Okay. What? Keep us posted on the stocks. On the stock market. Keep, what about a, it? keep us posted today. See how you do if you had such a big winning yesterday. Wait, let's see. Wee. This is Grandpa's uh, pastime. He watches the money wheel. I mean, Aunt Alice, Grandpa's going with us today. No? No? no. You got room for me? Oh, hardly. You I have all my towels at your house. Of course. I've only got three now. I know I've had five. <laughs> Where the hell are they? No, I'm carrying them. What the hell is this? This little purse. Oh. She needs her purse at the pool. And today, you know, uh -huh. November 21st, I gave you that check. November 21st. Yes. Grandma and Grandpa live but two blocks from the pool, but they opt to drive. And when asked Grandma Thelma why she opts to drive, she said, because she can. So we are now going to approach the pool. The whole gang, Grandpa in the lead. <laughs> Here, Mandy, stop it. If she says she's gonna kill you, and if she doesn't, I will. <laughs> you hear? I hear. Okay. I hear. Here. Over there. Grandma. And Anna Alice are about to derobe. Yeah. Fake shower. She never really gets wet. She just pretends. So. Huh? See, she just pretends. Doesn't really go in. <laughs> and Alice, explain the fake shower. <laughs> it's the fake shower. She doesn't really get in. She just pretends. <laughs> Are you getting in or not? Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm getting in the pool. Well, I don't care. And Alice, did you really take a shower or was it a fake one? Sure. Sure you did. Sure, can't you see? Sure. <laughs> Oh, Amanda, soon you will. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold, Aunt Alice? I didn't check
just decides to catch some rays. No swimming for him today. He decides he's going to be the tropically tan Milton Levenberg before he goes to his bridge game today. However, the Hungarians have entered the water. She's going to try. I'm going to help. Hey, and Alice, we cleaned out the freezer. camera on purpose? Grandma, you have to just pretend the camera isn't here. Oh, and you paid attention to her? What's the matter with you? Oh, God. Huh? I don't understand you. What? You don't want to help me get into film school? <laughs> An aspiring young filmmaker? Lila, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm good. You came to see the two Hungarians? I came to see them. I came to see the beauties. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Hey, there's yeah, another, the best. there's a hunk of a man over there on the, on the chairs. Yeah, Who that walk, is? Walk over there. Who walk that over is? there and say hello to, the, you know, my, what's his name? My boyfriend? What's his name? Milton. Do that right now. <laughs> Bye, Mandy. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Girlfriend. She's my best Irish girl. Oh. I kissed the Barney Stone. You did? <laughs> okay, how are you doing? You look pretty good there. He's the Well, that's not nice. That's <laughs> amazing. Oh, she needs more. I'll go get some. Yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't know. What? Hey, Lord. Mainly, I want to ask you something. Yeah. Is Vanessa staying overnight? Um, I'm not sure yet. She is going to see. She has to fly to Memphis, so she might stay overnight, and then I'll drive her to the West Palm Beach Airport. She has a card game this afternoon, don't you? Yeah, when, uh, after golf. The, the uh, oh, oh. member guest was called off. Uh -huh. Is it? Oh, the wind? The rain? It was raining pouring this morning. It was? Uh -huh. yeah. And it's supposed to uh, rain this, uh, this morning, then clear up this yeah. afternoon. Oh, I didn't know that. The course is closed until noon. Oh. Yeah. Live, Boca Raton <laughs> Kitchen. Grandma, tell the audience what you're going to be making. Vegetable soup, dear. Vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. First you put a, half a stick of margarine in it. Margarine in the soup? Well, how do you make soup? You either have to have a piece of meat or you have to have something for the vegetables to get done. Okay, what else goes in there? Everything. The whole world. An onion, 
but it has to cook first. So we're going to... A yellow onion or a white onion? It does make a hoot of difference. Okay. Not one bit. And celery and carrots and parsnip. Parsnip? Mm -hmm. That's the bottom of this. Okay. I've never used a parsnip. You haven't? Nope. Good. What does it taste like? I don't know. I never eat it. Alice loves it. Stop wasting that film. <laughs> Maybe we need some music to go along with it. Of course. Little Barbara. Absolutely. Get this all done before you start. Potato. Large potato. Red potato or brown potato? It doesn't matter. <laughs> potato. Cut up. Celery, carrots, parsnip, and an onion. Okay? Okay. And uh, then we first we put in the um, dry ingredients. What's the dry ingredients? What would the dry ingredients be? Uh, barley. Uh -huh. This is going to be a little of everything. Split pea, lima bean, barley. A little of everything. That's what makes it good. Shall I tell you how much? Yep. I don't know how much. <laughs> this is a, one of those recipes you know. You just measure. You just get good at it. Are you measuring well, it? it depends on how much soup you're making here. How much are you making? Are you making enough to have leftovers or are you making enough just to serve? No. Because we don't have any room in the freezer. That's right. We don't do we? Half a cup of supper. Half a cup of split or peas? Or thereabouts, yeah. Or thereabouts, a little more. And lima beans. I never ever eat lima beans except at your house. In soup. It's delicious. All right. Barley. Medium Quaker barley. Are you measuring just for me? Because you usually do. Half cups. Yeah. No, I never measure. Don't be silly. Whoever measures. These are called shitarain recipes. In Jewish, that means throw in. <laughs> shitarain? Yes. <laughs> now, let that cook until they get soft. Sort of, yes. And then you throw in the vegetables. So now, are you working on the macaroni already? Yes. Uh oh. What's happening with the macaroni? Nothing. It's just cooking. You know how to cook macaroni? Yeah. Okay. That's just noodles or did you put butter? No, nothing. Just noodles. We don't put anything in until we drain it. And then we add all the guck. Let me get a uh, pan. Whoa. So we're making the infamous sweet macaroni. Whoa. Whoa. What's for lunch? <laughs> Oh, you'll just have to wait, dear. Sorry about that. Oh. About an hour or so. Can't? I'm hungry. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> Tough. That pool, that pool makes me hungry. Oh, no, <laughs> that's right. All that work you all did, that Grandpa. All swimming. Sure, the swimming and the sun and all that stuff. Yes, I know, dear. Turn it off, Mandy. Small casserole. Half a stick of butter. Mm -hmm. Mix it in till it melts. Of course. Keep Next, Velveeta. Can you instruct the viewers? Two eggs. How 
can I tell them how much? I don't know. I'll just show it. A lot of cheese. Half a stick. No, this was uh, more oh. than that. Oh. A fourth of a stick, maybe. It depends how what size piece you got. So Grandma cuts up the Velveeta, puts it into the boiled, already boiled macaroni noodles that have been mixed with a half a stick hot, of butter. So they're hot, so it'll melt the cheese. And the eggs, two eggs. And, oh, and two eggs. And stir vigorously. Get the sugar, baby. Sugar. Putting sugar in the macaroni. To taste. To your own taste. Some people don't even like sugar in it. What do you think? I'm a sugar freak. I love it. Two large tablespoons and taste it then. Then you can use milk or skim milk, whatever you want to use. Cup. Almost. Almost a cup. Three fourths of a cup. Again, continue stirring to melt the cheese. That is it. That's it. Then we make the uh, breadcrumbs. Out of? Out of breadcrumbs. Buttered breadcrumbs for the bottom and the top. Oh, what? You it's have a Hershey bar in there. <laughs> you saw that the other day. Gotta eat it. This is for the breadcrumbs. You want to put a little frying pan on the stove with butter. Again, half a stick. Margarine. Margarine's fine. Margarine's fine. You bet it is. I haven't got any of all out of it. Grandma, can't you speak to your grandchildren a little bit? What is it? My grandchildren aren't here. But they, they're going to all watch the tape. They're going to watch the tape. Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I've been commissioned. Is that you've been commissioned? How much? Uh, can't tell you. Can't tell, can't tell you the figures. Okay. So they're all going to watch it, don't you? Have a I'm sure. Message for your grandchildren. No messages. Just pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. This could be a, com a combination of a Yiddish lesson, Grandma. What, dear? This could be a combination Yiddish lesson. Tack it? <laughs> okay, sweetheart. Let's see. Where were we when we were so rudely interrupted? Oh. Breadcrumbs. How's the soup doing while we're at it? Hmm? I haven't checked it lately. We have to put a little salt and pepper in that. What's it called again? Shitterine. Sh sh Shitterine. You know what that means, don't you now? Throw it all in. No, don't measure it. That's right. make what brown? The crumbs. Oh. They're cornflakes crumbs and they're already ground. Garcia soup? I didn't even see you put them in there. Oops. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Pay attention. So you just want to get them nice and Melted. buttery. <laughs> That's all. Just melt the uh, butter or margarine and uh, mix it up. 
Now we will put it on the bottom of the uh, casserole. But save some for the top. Oh yes, betcha. Did you taste it? Is it no, sweet I enough? Didn't. Do you want to taste it? Okay. Yeah. Make sure it's sweet enough. Okay, so of course I asked for more sugar since I am such a sweet tooth. Get this batch of it, really, darling. Yep. breadcrumbs and bake it in the oven at what temperature? 350. 350 for about how long? About an hour until it's nice and brown on the bottom of the sides. About an hour? When it gets too brown you put a little silver ball on top so it doesn't get too dry. I don't have enough. <laughs> Gotta make more. Carrots, celery, Turnips and everything. Not turnips. Oh, sorry. Parsnip. Parsnips. Not turnip. Never. We never use turnips. And it's gonna stay on the stove probably for a couple of hours. And Grandma recommends to make it the day before, and it has more flavor. More body. More body. More. I ain't got no body. Now let's see what's this. Oh. <laughs> Second round of uh, breadcrumbs, and now it's going to go in the oven at 350 for about an hour. An hour or so. Or so. Till it's nice and brown and done. That's it. But you can make it the day before and keep it out, and make it the next day. Or if you put it in the refrigerator, be sure you let it thaw the glass get warm before you put it in the oven because it can crack. Do you understand me? Yep. You do? Yep. Okay. Very well. Is that I just washed it. Yeah. So is it going in the oven or not yet? No. Oh, not till dinner. Not till later. Gotcha. Second. Apple strudel. What have you done so far, cook? Thelma. Just melted a stick of margarine. Okay. And now I'm mixing some sugar in a bowl with the cinnamon. 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 Lots of cinnamon you like. Oh my gosh. Again, no measuring necessary. You know, you just have to see the color. And uh, I'm sorry, how much margarine was? A stick of margarine. A stick of Depends margarine. Depends how, how many um, loaves of uh, how many you make. We will see. All right. Now the apples, which have been sliced very thin, very, very thin. And I need a piece of lemon. Lemon, lemon, where are you, lemon? What's the lemon for, Graham? Just squeeze on top of the apples in case it's not tart enough. Have everything ready. That's ready. kind of the key to Grandma's cooking. You do not do anything at the last moment. Nothing. Oh, God, Grandma. To the wrong. You're, you're in a bad way. I'm in the what? You're in a bad way, Mandy. I don't think you can do this. Oh, oh, Grandma. Not at six o'clock at night. No, not when you come home. Impossible. Unless you're having dinner at ten. Maybe. <laughs> I can make the strudel the day before. No, you have to bake it the same day because it's never as good. Oh, really? No. You, hear you can make it and then bake it. 
Oh, so you can you keep understand? it in the refrigerator. Yes. All right. Let her roll. Where is the shrimp dough? Now you okay. have to keep this out overnight when you do any of it. Filo dough. Otherwise, it's the dough gets dry and you cannot work with it. Fresh day soup? Uh-huh. You do, huh? I don't have any room here. See, it's even dry because this package has been opened already. One sheet to the wind. Dribble the margarine over the phyllo sheet. Not, not all over the thing. Oh, just a little. Well, you'll watch. And then place another phyllo sheet on top. Oh, dribble that margarine on. Oh my god, I didn't know you did three. Three sheets to the wind. Oi, dribble. Breadcrumbs go in, in the strudel? They go where the apples go so it doesn't get soft and right here at the edge. So you sprinkle um, breadcrumbs on the edge of the not the, not the seasoned breadcrumbs. Unseasoned plain. bread plain breadcrumbs. Then, then you take a large spoon and you dribble the sugar all over the joint. Like so, about six or seven lines. Then we take the apples and put them so on the edge. Only on the edge where you've put the breadcrumbs already. Right. The apples have anything on them? Nothing so far. Just sliced thinly. What kind of apples, Graham? Jonathan or Granny Smith, whichever you can get. Let me put it. Sugar on it. More sugar and cinnamon. And, then and squeeze the lemon, lemon juice across the top of the apples to make them tart. Pull out the seed. That's it. Okay, now this is the part I might mess up. Roll it. Oh, not with the towel. Yes, with the towel. Oh, nope. Do you want to roll it pretty tight, Graham? Why is it so soft? Where's my cookie sheet? Uh, I didn't, got, I didn't get it. So you roll it all in one loaf. You need to. Did you roll it pretty tightly, Graham? Yes. Roll it pretty tightly. Do you need help? Do you have to grease it? What's that? Pam. Pam. And for those of you who don't have Pam, you can use a little margarine. No? It's the pressure of the camera, Grandma. No. Something's wrong with the dough. Let's cover it up. Brush it with margarine. A little bit of margarine going on in the strudel. Not that we didn't suspect that. Wait, it's kind of falling apart. It is, it is. The dough is all wet. And I don't know why. We'll try the next one. Grandpa will get it. Yes, he will. Hmm. I don't understand. Me? Grandma, telephone. I'll talk to him later. Who is it? No, it wasn't all. If you need anything else, we're 
Oh, I'll get it. Here we get here. Let's see what happens next. Sometimes the dough is just... Hmm. It's very... What happens? Is it dry? Is the dough dry? Or is it when you said it was wet? Yeah, did you see how it did? Yeah, I'll show you how it's supposed to be, really. Let us see. Don't put so much, maybe. So, a note to the viewers when you're gonna melt the margarine, use a stick, stick. of margarine, not the already not the soft. Tub. Not the tub. Although. In the meantime, the soup is still boiling. Grandpa is watching the tube. And uh, I'm going to be blind when I finish because I keep closing my eyes. I have enough apples. We will see. You sometimes make it with um, nuts. I don't yes, like it. I've done nuts. I've done cheese. Oh. Oh, we threw away. We threw away sweet cheese last night. Oh, we did, didn't we? Yep. Mm -hmm. I think I need another apple. Who taught you how to make strudel, Grandma? My mother. She used to make the dough herself. Oh, really? God, how do you make... On the dining room table, as thin as this. Really? Mm -hmm. I can't imagine that. I think everybody uses... As big as the dining room table it was. Really? She must have made a lot of strudel. Yeah, that's right. Is it, is it a Jewish kind of a food? A Hungarian? I really don't know. I imagine so. Strudel is German. They have it. So if at the last minute you don't have enough apples, just take one out of the refrigerator, slice it up nice and thin. You use an awfully big knife to cut your apple, Grandma. Okay, we'll see if Grandma's theory was right about the margarine. Just bit anything is. Sure. Look at that. I can't do it. A note to our viewers: repeat. Do not use tubs of margarine. Look what happens. And then you feel bad. Do you understand? And she said. Uh, her stomach wasn't so good, so she oh, oh, didn't want to get anything, so she was going to order an egg white omelet. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that's like eating straw. I know. So then she kind of, and after the girl took our order, she changed her mind. No, she's still waiting to get her order. Yeah. And then she finally gave her the order, so we're sitting and sitting and sitting because she had to wait. Oh, I. Everyone's going to watch this and think you're a mean old lady because you keep yelling at the camera. She's got to get her act together. And this is Millie here, okay. stopping by for a little visit. Aunt Millie. Sorry, Aunt Millie Weiss. Oh, Aunt Millie to you. Whatever. Hello. How are you? Good. Yes. Just a moment. Careful, because it's Hello. a little slippery. It might be slippery, too. Yes, Halila has that. Never mind, I'm going to scrub it right now. Not right now. Don't tell me, I can't. <laughs> okay. Now if the dough is not good, I'll kill myself altogether. Have I got everything here? All right, second round. This has a little dough in it. Doesn't matter. Sweetheart, get up. Becca, Harkin. Well, what are you going to make? One piece? It looks like. That's about all the apples. That's got. all I've got right here. <laughs> That's, that will have to do. Uh, Butter. Mm. 
You don't uh, take the, the brush and brush it on a little? Thing? No. Okay. <laughs> I do. Okay. I do. I do. Same difference. Is that right? Dribble. I dribble. That's a say. One, two. We may have to do another one. I think we've got enough dough here. Uh, I can cut up some apples. That I know how to do. You do? But I still first have to see if this one rolls. Don't worry. And it makes it. Don't worry about a thing. I think I need some more sugar. <laughs> used, oh, that's full sugar, the stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't need it. No. Oh, I base a mess. Look at this. That's all right. I won't hurt a thing. You know, apples, so. apples, they're all just cooked together. I barely have enough for the one piece. Ugh. Well, because so, I did the other one, I had enough for two. Yes, sir? I don't like to be on camera. <laughs> Seventeen bean soup. Seven, really? Is it good? 
I never made that one. It's a package. Yeah, I saw that. And you make it just like you make the other stuff. Yeah. But it's got all kinds of beans in it. And I put a little barley in it, too. Uh-huh. So about 20 minutes after she put it in, she moves it up, puts in yeah. another little thing. With a whipped butter trial. Forget it. It's probably going to be a little soppy. tonight. Oven cleaner. Okay, now I'm going to do the floor. Oh, sure. Preparing further for the meal. Let's get it set, as we all know. This is a very familiar sight. Who are you talking to? Me. Oh. Grandma, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be fancy. I... Assuming we have more than two people or three, we do it. Two hours later, the finished product. Bravo. Wow. Yummy. Can't wait till after dinner. Oh, man. Friends. He says, I, had, I said, what were their names? He said, well, one of them was Levin, Levin. I said, L-E-V-I-N? She says, yeah. I said, that's not Levin, that's Levin. She said, no, it's Levin. I said, who's the other? Said, His name was Nudelman. I said, how do you spell that? He says, N-U-D-E-L-M-A-N. I said, that's not Nudelman, that's Noodleman. <laughs> And she didn't like it. I was kidding her about it. I said, you, you go to college, you can't find yourself a, a guy, you got to come back home and marry the the, uh, the local yokel. And that's what happened. Why? We got engaged. We were engaged for two years. Wow, I didn't know that. Hmm? I didn't know that. That's a long time. Oh, I told you that story. <laughs> so wait, so wait. Grandpa, you tell me. When she went away to college, were you in love yet? Sure. Yeah? Sure, boy. But you weren't scared to let her go away? I had nothing to say about it. For sure. I had yep. nothing to say You'll soon me. learn that about my grandma. Nobody tells her what to do. And, uh, so, uh, 1932, we became engaged, and I was working as a bookkeeper. I had a job as a bookkeeper. I was getting $30 a week as a bookkeeper. And I was making $30 a week giving piano lessons and playing orchestra jobs, dance jobs. I was making 60 bucks a week, which I thought in those days wasn't bad. You know, that was a lot of money. It's in 1932. But her girl, all her friends said to me, oh, you can't support Belmont, $60 a week. 
So I said, well, I'll just, we'll have to wait a while. So we waited two years. And after two years, we got married. And by that time, I was making $30 a week. <laughs> because the, the depression got deeper. Yeah. I was working only three days a week as a bookkeeper, getting 15 books a week for that, and and working and, and getting about $15 a week giving piano lessons. Oh, then I, I told you a story about, oh, yeah. about, about oh, Grandpa yeah. Gross. Tell, tell Vanessa though, that's funny. <laughs> that's a good one. Somebody. When we got married in 1934, got married at her parents' home. Oh. At a beautiful wedding day. In How fact, are you, darling? In fact, yeah, it was on June, June 17th, and they, they lived on a corner, they had a home on a corner lot. Beautiful home with a large lawn. So they set up, they strung lanterns, Chinese lanterns. Oh, it's going to be an outdoor, outdoor yes, wedding. Yes, video. <laughs> beautiful. Except that the day of the wedding came and it rained. Oh, I know. So we had to do the wedding inside. But anyhow, we, after the wedding's it over, just her, rain it her father calls me aside. He says, here, Bill, I want to talk to you about something. I call you aside. He says, I wish you'd gotten she married said, two years ago oh, when you first became engaged. I said, why? He said, if you'd gotten married no, two years ago, I could have. Then I, at well, that time, I could have given me a two thousand dollar check for wedding present. He said, no, I can only give you five hundred. Oh, he gives me the check wow. for five hundred. I took the check and I said, well, oh, I said, I'll yeah, take the five hundred. Give me a note right. for the other fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> and wouldn't do it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna remember that, Grandma. You wonder where she gets her evil streak from. It skipped a generation, man. Yeah, we know where you're getting it from. <laughs> so, how do you think, with all the marriages that there are, that don't work out? How come you think that yours has worked out and lasted so long? It has a very patient wife. That's <laughs> Good sense of humor, maybe. That's true. That's true. I'll tell you, the first, I have to say this, the first several years of our marriage, maybe maybe as many as six or eight or even ten, I don't know, we used to fight like hell. We'd have all kinds of arguments, disagreements. In fact, uh, most of them were about real important things, like uh, they were so important that I wouldn't, we wouldn't talk to each other for two weeks, and by that time you couldn't remember what we were mad about. You know? That's how important, how serious the arguments were. And we eventually finally came to the conclusion that it's a little ridiculous to be angry with each other about things that we... Oh, one thing, I used to tell you, you married me, you married me for better or for worse, don't, don't try to change me, you know, she tried to change me, and I said, you, you're not going to change me, and I'm going to put it Yeah. Your grandson, Tom. Oh, all right. Tommy's on the phone. <laughs> Grandpa, you'll have to continue this yes, later. Yes, to be continued. Why is he hopping? Oh, I charge, I charge for my advice. don't listen to anything my he makes up these no, no. weird, we're gonna get your side weird of the story stories now. all the time. This is a time. documentary. We're going to get your oh, side of the story. Oh, yes, sure. It's called True Love. We're <laughs> finding out about your, your love, why it's lasted so long. Because <laughs> Grandma's real patient. A lot about being too young. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now I kid her about being too old. <laughs> <laughs> now you kid her about all our new clothes. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, he kids me about everything. Life isn't worth living. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> all right, let's get this junk off the tish. Tish, is that table? Yeah. Tish, tish. I'm going to hit you in the... No, wait, tish. I'm going to... I'm going to frosk you in the pisk with the tish. Give you a frosk in pisk. <laughs> in the frosk, is you that right? You don't have to learn any Yiddish here. No, I want to. Is your to. boyfriend Yiddish? No, but I want to decide. I, w I want to be a Levenberg deep down in heart. That's why I was going to marry Tommy. <laughs> so if I learn some Yiddish, maybe a Levenberg will take pity on me. Oh, I'll tell you, we do take in outsiders into our family. <laughs> yeah, we have very stringent requirements. Right, oh, like, we need really? to learn Yiddish. No, no, no. Maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, did she ever go with Josh? No, they're like brother and sister. <laughs> yeah, he's like a brother to me. I couldn't marry Josh. <laughs> y
<laughs> takes care of me. So He's where were we in the romance questions? Yeah, where were we in the romance? <laughs> the romance saga. I thought you'd forget about that. No you, way! We still need to learn how it works. You're really so we serious, can huh? We're serious. You want me to get serious? Get serious. All right. I have a theory about happy marriages. Huh? Don't have fear the don't girls. Tell, don't tell Grandma about, about this. Okay. And my theory is that two people can live happily forever as long as they have respect for each other and consideration for each other and kindness. Love me. Oh Aren't you drinking it? Yes. But it isn't always I'm necessary. Curious. Alice, get I think people can learn to love each other. Where's the wisdom? <laughs> they, Where's the wisdom from the wise? Well, I'm, I'm, <laughs> honey, I'm just, I'm just quoting from my book. Oh, <laughs> the unreleased biography of Milton Levenberg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious about that. I think that if, if, if a man and a woman are, are just kind to each other and generous to each other and respect each other, even if they disagree about things, they can always have an argument, agree to disagree, and then, and then uh, we made it, after, after, as I said before, as I said before by, after seven or eight years, we made an agreement to never go to bed at night angry at each other. Never. And, we, and, we, and it's been that way ever since. So if you have an argument, we all make, really? make up and go to bed that night. It's the country music song. There's a country music song just about that. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they agreed never to go to bed until, to to and bed sometimes they, they didn't go to sleep before the sun came yeah. up because they would have to work things out. Country music song, you see? Talk. Grandpa, so you've had some late nights, huh? <laughs> yeah, but happy nights. Yeah. So but what do you, do you believe in soulmates? Hmm? Do you believe in soulmates? No, I don't think well, so. How do you define that? Yeah, what's the same Okay, name? that do you believe that there's someone that you find that you're meant to be with for your life? No. no. I don't think so. Really? No. Ooh, shattering our dream. Yeah. Oh, I'm shattering your dream. Well, what do you think it is? Why do you think that you ended up with, with your wife as opposed well, to? Well, I felt, I thought, I might have thought she was my soulmate, but I don't, but I don't think that's, I don't think it's necessary for what I'm saying. Why? You might meet someone that was your, what you might consider a soulmate, but I don't think it's necessary. I think if you like somebody, just like someone, and feel and feel that he is kind, considerate, and caring, and generous to a fault, I think that kind of a person you could live with and learn to love. But don't you believe that, that you should, that there should be a great love before that? That those other things are also extremely important, but that otherwise it would be just the same as having a friend, a wonderful friend. Well, the point is, if you, if you keep waiting, it's nice to keep, to find somebody that you fall in love with. It's very nice, but I don't think it, it doesn't always happen. In my case, it happened, but I don't think that it always happens. I think it happened in Aunt Alice's And case. I don't think it has to. Oh, I think it happened. I know it happened in Aunt Alice. No, Aunt Alice got married because it's the first guy that came along. <laughs> Grandpa, I swear to God, she turns her back and you just can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> she, she, just, she just wanted to get married before, before her sister. <laughs> she, she was very mean. She did get married before her sister, which was nasty. Aunt Alice, come sit down. Really, really nasty. And you know, when you're desperate, you'll do anything. Just because I didn't, just because I didn't ask her to marry me, she went out and married the first guy that came along. Uh -huh. Oh, that Byron, and boy, he was an underachiever. Just, just the biggest, biggest lawyer mocker in the state of Indiana. <laughs> what about Lila? Mm, I don't know about Lila. You should ask Lila. That he is, she is. Grandpa, you don't think sex is a factor? Yes, I, I didn't say it any good. I said it, I said I don't think it should be the main factor. He says he thinks you should throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> you should throw out sex? I have a brother, my youngest brother. 
fact, he's the only brother I got left. I had, I had three brothers. I had an older brother, two years older than I was, the, the handsomest son of a gun you ever want to see in your life. He, he should have been a movie star, but, he, but uh, he was a handsome son of a gun. He was married twice. Uh, his first wife, I don't know, a few years, and then he married a second time. And the second one was a good, was a good marriage. My youngest brother, uh, who's, who's still alive, he's 20 years younger than I am, has been married four times. And I'm convinced, I'm convinced that he, that this marriage only lasts. This time he married a woman that's about 18 years younger than he is. And he's a handsome son of a gun, too. 65 years old, he looks like he's about 50. Very handsome, isn't he handsome? Yeah, he is. And uh, he's had these three wives before this one. And in each case, I feel that the, that the, they, do, they, they got divorced. In each case, I think he was probably, he was more at fault than the, than, than the wives were. Why? I, I don't know, because he's just not the kind of a guy that, that wants to, to, to give in, let me put it that way, to, to a wife's needs. You want to be a boss, you know? You can't be that. You can't have a way in a happy marriage of... that beautiful face in the camera, Alice. <laughs> Don't pick your nose on the camera. Okay, that's it. Sorry we didn't help, Grandma. Pardon me? Sorry we didn't help. No swimming tomorrow. Why? Gonna Not necessarily. It's not supposed to be that cold, is it? I might have to go shopping. We got bridge. I know you are. <laughs> I haven't even started, <laughs> but I hope you haven't. <laughs> well, hardly ever. Every time I'm going with you, <laughs> never, never. I yeah, this has to have a thing. I don't think shop for a thing. No, no. no. Uh -uh. I got nothing. nothing to wear. I know how it is. What do you need something to wear to? Where are you guys going? My dear, my dear, we, we just have a very heavy social, absolutely. very heavy social, uh, including life. the opera. Oh yes, to carousel. So, oh, you didn't think that was good enough, huh? Grant and Alice, you need a dress for your party at the club. What club? Aren't you guys gonna have a going away party for yourselves? <laughs> Amanda, oh Amanda, oh, so Amanda. you oh, Amanda. Yeah. <laughs> Being a if spinster. We just had our book here. We would sing you all day long. Come on in, Alice. Let's sing it for her. Oh, Amanda. Oh, Come here, Grandma. Amanda. Soon a spinster you will be. Find a young, young man to marry. Find a man and set us free. <laughs> what else? We don't know the rest of it. Call your mother. She's got the book. We did it for her. We did it for her. <laughs> too close. We did it. Get out of here. We did it for your mother. Give me that. <laughs> Throw that
Witness. Vanessa, say, say the magic word. Kaluki. Put a quarter in you all. Y'all come. All right. Very good. Now then. In? I'll help you to start. She'll off help with. her this first I one. I just have to say how many cars at first. Fifteen time. cars. 15. And you get sixteen. And the person over here gets sixteen to the left of you, the dealer. Four. Why? Because they start they because start the whole so. round. <laughs> <laughs> You know that? <laughs> These are pretty cards. Eight. Vanessa. When the kids were little, they yeah. would always say, why? I would say, because I, I said, said so. so. That's why. One day I'm in Chicago a couple of years ago, and I'm walking down Randolph Street, and I see this woman with two kids, one on each side, and she has a T-shirt on, and it says, because I said so. <laughs> well, I stopped her, and I said, oh, that's wonderful. I wish I'd had that T-shirt. I wouldn't have had to say it all the time. <laughs> Always they would say, did why? You, uh, uh, Mandy, did you open the door? No, but I'm schwitzing. I'm in all of Oh, my God, door. I forgot oh, to schwitzing. count. Schwitzing. Open something. What's that? Count. Sweating. At the next Sweating. Didn't we open something? Okay, One, I'll open two, it. Three, four, five. Use any place. Any place at all, dear. They're wild. They're wild, exactly. Vanessa, so you're like, trying to put your hand in some sort of an order, whether you've got three twos, or you've got two kings, and you think you might get another one, okay. or you've got king, jack, okay. whatever. Right. All of one suit. Right, yeah. but you need to keep the suits together and, I you got you. See, like, for instance, look, I'll just give you a for instance. See these three different suits? Yes. Hearts, clubs, diamonds, and there's another Girl. one, spades, too. So that's that's a run. That okay. counts for twenty-four. The aces and kings are uh, tens, and okay. aces are elevens. Kings, queens, jacks are ten. Yes. And the others are there. Face value. Right. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> you got. How much it, do you need to go down? Fifty-one to go down. And if you pick from here, you can't kaluki. <laughs> I mean, if you pick from the deck, that's open. If you pick from here, you can kaluki. That means you get all the money in the Can pot. you go in order, like three, four, five? Yes, certainly. But and you want to get but, your cards but down. But in one suit, uh, if you've got a run. Okay. In others, you get three deuces, three fours, three fives. They're different suits. Can you yeah. ask for five cards? Pardon me? <laughs> can I ask for five cards? No, this, that's, that's bridge, this dear. <laughs> that's <laughs> tomorrow. That's poker. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's, that's poker, class. It's my turn. Now, so hold on, Grandma, explain why she wants to go down. You want to get rid of your cards. Yes, uh, because uh, three cards will cost you a nickel. If, if someone 
uh, lays their whole hand down. Doesn't or matter, if they doesn't collude matter the what three cards they are, there are. No, no, it's just a nickel. Oh, it didn't uh, matter which Six cards are a dime. A whole hand is a quarter, unless you have jokers that you, you have. You get a quarter? What, what do you mean? No, you have to pay a quarter. Oh, so your point is to get if, all your cards down. If the other person colloquies or goes down all the way. We'll just do a practice one, this one. Okay, okay so but, but I Pick up when there's two. You have to find places to throw it or to find it. You know, Grandma, are you going for colloquy? Yeah, Did you go down, down yet? Already so we can play she's going to play. She's going for it. Otherwise, we'll never be able to play. Oh, I should have put them there. Oh, yeah, well, go ahead. Out. Do that. It's and a demonstration. Anyway. No, she now has no, one card. Throw one down card. a card. Throw yeah, down a card. There. Oh. Unless you can put it someplace else. Have you looked every place? Yeah. All right, then throw one out. Do you believe I still can't go down? No. I've got two runs, 24, 34, 41. Pretty soon. That's it. No, not today. Good thing it's only a demonstration round. Yeah. Can I take this top card? No, you can't no. take it. And now, how many years have you been playing Kabuki? Not many, though, very, I told you. Not honey. very long. Not very long. Well, I haven't played for two years. For yeah. You played at Christmas, Aunt Alice, in Phoenix. No, I didn't. You did a little. Mm -hmm. A little. None. <laughs> Why? Pick up anything there. No. no. Only as a top card, Vanessa. Is it your turn, Ness? Oh, no. No matter what, they only get a, a nickel. Yeah, me too. Can't put it anywhere, dear. One you can throw out, see? Yes. Now, Good you're girl, out. Vanessa won! Good girl! Yay. And I got 25 cents worth I have, would have to pay. You're I can. If it wasn't a demonstration round. You're the pretty one. Yes. I'm She's the smart, smart one. one. Oh. <laughs> no, we're not paying this time. That was just a child. That was just a child. Vanessa, you may go to the head of the class. Yay. Yes, she certainly may. Very well done. Okay. Now then, watch out. <laughs> Grandma is stacking the cards quietly. <laughs> quietly. It's your turn, really. No, you want me to do it? So, Grandma, can I play, or are there not enough cards? There's enough, dear. There is? If sure. not, we'll put, add Stop another Stop videotaping and come play. It's not okay. be a diamond. Uh, but you can put the three there if you like. Okay. Now, what have you got left? Too much. Oh. Don't tell us. Throw Nothing. one out. Just double checking there. there's nothing else. Yeah, be sure you double check. That's yes. the general idea. Oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I've got two lousy one card. cards. Damn it. <laughs> one card. They and both I have, have, I have card. 15 cards. I still can't get anything. Ah. Impossible. No way. Dumb, 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 dumb. You got a big ass there. Yeah, so what do I do with it? <laughs> nothing. That's true. Stickoltz, Stickoltz, is that right? Yeah, don't sit around <laughs> like a Stickoltz. That's what Julie, Julie Levin Lila. always says. Lila. I Lila. said, Julie, are you still waiting for that senior boyfriend? She said, what do you think I'm doing, sitting around like a Stickoltz? <laughs> so... Is she still in love with that guy? No, no, she's got a new one. A new one? Now he's, I think he's younger. Oh, Lila, all right already. Throw up. I'm going to get this. Get Lila, Mandy. Uh, Mandy, take. Look at this is an 8 o'clock. And Alice, I think we can just call it the end. Call I it know, quits. Honey, yeah. We should just put our quarter There's in. There's no thing we can do about it. Throw up then, honey. Nothing. Look at I need that. Where's the nine of hearts? Any place done gone? Nine it's nine. done left. It's done left. Yeah, yeah. the queen of hearts is here. Nine oh, nine. That's okay. Mandy and she Let's see. Nine. Let's see. All Ten, right. Nine and nine is 18 and nine is 27. Oh, you're going down. You and you oh, deserter. Schlepper. You betray her. Five is 38 and six is 41 what? and seven is 48. She's not so good with numbers. Somebody oh better check God. that. She's down. I Damn finally it. Damn did it. it. I finally did it. Let's see. There's no place to put Oh, there must be. Look at all those cards. Ace, diamond, clubs is already there. Therefore, I cannot do anything with it. Mandy. You just betrayed me. That's all I said. believe that you're four, four, four of hearts. Four of hearts. Four of hearts. You made some cards. Yeah, cards. I've got one card, too, now. Everybody's got one card. Except. Do you believe that? Except, a, except the film crew. This down. is the bright one over there. She's going to go look for a job. <laughs> Oi, Bay. Oi, Bay. 
<laughs> Grandma, what are you trying to oh, say? Baby. Just because oh, I can't play Kaluki? You have to know how to do every a little of everything, dear. I think Kaluki's on my resume. <laughs> now, well, for God's sakes, now. But I might have spelled it wrong. What do you got? Show us. Seven no, that's eight. no good. Oh, Lila, if that isn't wild, that's you know, no know how long you two are missing. Time. So I got the real end of that. I'd be glad to give her a nickel. A nickel. You're not waiting anymore, huh, kid? All right. All now right, you're talking. Ding. <laughs> it only cost me a nickel. How much did it cost you, Lou? It cost me a nickel. A nickel? Okay. All right, girl. She's I've the best player is all I can say. You may go to the guy. head of the class, Vanessa. <laughs> I'm playing five more minutes and I'm leaving. Right. Oh, look at Aunt Al, so bitter. At least you've won. I haven't she even is, won she once. Is, she's yeah, but I'm, I'm down now. How much money have you lost? I've lost. I need a nickel. Is there a nickel? 60 cents. Yeah, that's not bad. Usually you lose a dollar in bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Who yeah, did, did you deal that yeah. one, honey? It must be a beginner's luck on my part. That's right. No, you're just bright, honey. And not just pretty, <laughs> bright and pretty. Ooh. This is how Grandma gets ready.
Grandma, they have this new thing now where you don't have to wear mascara. They just dye your eyelashes. Oh, sure. I'm serious. They had that long time ago. Did you ever do it? No. I can't they imagine. Dye eyelashes, eyebrows. I'm I scared they get that damn camera. Away. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just showing how the beauty, how you arrive at your beauty. Well, you're always beautiful, but your ultimate beauty. Beauty and the beast, yeah. Nobody has ever seen your hair down. That's the Nobody? Oh, I'm, God. I'm not kidding. put it up quickly. See, look at if you just wore it like that. Yes, I'll tell you. With, with the back down. It's so pretty. I know. So who made the, who made the rule that grandmothers don't wear their hair down? I do. Just to, it's not distinguished enough? <laughs> <laughs> I would think you'd want to just get your hair short if it was blowing all the time. No, like you, you mean. Yeah, that's what, kind of why I do mine, so it's low maintenance. I'm the same way. I think you either have to have it really long like you, yeah, so it can go all the way up, or pretty short like me, so you don't have to mess with it. So you don't have to comb it ever. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Although I, I used the brush last night, Grandma. Did you, dear? Yeah. So I could tell. <laughs> oh, my nose. What's wrong? You better not... <laughs> We see how the bun is formed. Lots of spray net. Oi, Grandma. Ozone layer. Can't take it. Behind the scenes, the dressing room of Thelma Levenberg. Yeah, a little slob. Don't do that to me. I don't like that. All that mess. I hate mess. I think Grandpa made the mess. He does. And then Grandpa put it away. Did he find his keys? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet. Probably one of his pants pockets. There's a pin hanging around here somewhere. Uh, oh, the wrap around piece to hold the ponytail and not show the rubber band. Correct. The only person in our family who's had hair as long as yours is Aunt Sue. Yeah, she used to have it down to here. I remember. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> that was in when she lived on Nine Nola Drive. Right. It was too long. I didn't like it. I didn't either. Not for a grown woman. I mean, you know, kids, it's one thing. Oh, yeah. Remember those pictures of Heather? She used to have really long uh -huh. hair, too. Mandy, are you too? <laughs> for the big bridge tournament. Too happy about letting us in. No, no. 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 she lived at you guys. And yeah. and and the bridge we're group. When each contestant enters the room, they have to deposit a dollar into the pot. As you can see, the stakes are high with this bridge group. No joking around. 
There's a total of, I think, six dollars in that pot. Where? Oh. Oh, you did you? They had a marvelous one. Okay. Rose, Rosen, Rose, Rosen, Lila Wolk, Shara Brodsky, our very own Thelma, Lila Montaldo, Hello. and Alice the hostess with the mostest, serving up the cocoa. We've all been playing bridge together. Let's see, 15 years. Oh my god. Want longer? How long? No, not that long. Not that this long. This group. Thank you. This group. Yeah. About uh, eight, nine oh, years. Oh, more than oh, that. More? Uh huh. Maybe yeah, we did play oh, when we left. Absolutely. Yeah, about ten. Because I've been here uh, for twenty-four years. Yeah. And Alice and your grandma. And you were living over here for we a long played, time. We played at home played for how many years? My yes. yes. God. Uh huh. And now we were but playing. we used to play with Dorothy. Maybe want Coco. Coco. Coco, please. Who else played with us? Uh, one more. I think we had five. Or did we only have four? But Dorothy Ooh. Wolf. When we played with Dorothy Wolf. You and I. Mar Mar Margaret Draper, too. Got a coffee. That's right. I knew somebody else. Yeah. Margaret Draper played with us. That's right. Uh -huh. So right. who tends to be the big winner? The big six dollars? Your grandmother. Me. Yeah. Oh, 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 Lila. She cheats a lot. <laughs> Just ask her, honey, because green? she will tell you she's the right. best player. I am. You know the Rose. Rose. What would you what? <laughs> you win a what? A whopping dollar? Is that what the big No. Price? Six dollars. <laughs> Three dollars to the top winner. There's two dollars to the second winner. And if there's six, there's uh, one for the third winner. Wow. And that's a lot of money. Yes. That's a lot of money. You can get it. <laughs> yeah, nothing. You put it in your savings account, yeah, huh? Yes, we do. Definitely. Oh, I was gonna build a fortune for my twins. <laughs> <laughs> the twins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> someone called Milty. Yeah, yeah they broke it. Down, down, down. She said, "Can I catch him someplace?" I said, "He's on the way to the airport." Too late. The oh, airport. Oh, who's coming in? Hmm. I'm mean, not the airport. Oh, oh rich. Yeah. <laughs> that's like going to the Can airport. Get, uh, give me that their crackers. Hey, stuff. that's like going to the airport. Yeah. yeah the races, right? That's the cheese of our When is uh, Ren coming in? Saturday. Buddy and Ren are coming mm. in. Oh. Aren't you gonna Huh? Are you going to We didn't invite Why you to house at home. So who's out now? I'm out. Alice and I are out. The two Hungarians. But she's only going to play a few hands. That's yeah. all right. So I, I put my money in. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. I just want a, the pleasure of playing. So just leave it I'm in making there. you buy pencils, erasers. <laughs> I had that. I bought it last year. <laughs> the you before. couldn't find it. Lila, did you put your dollar in? I sure did. What do you mean? Did you put my dollar? You know, what do you think I am? Cheap? <laughs> Checking on you. Yeah. Yeah, what's this side? Did I put my dollar in? Good grief. I sure did. Okay, girls. Well, I'm signing off. Don't go away, Mad. I won't. I won't. Enjoy your game. Where are you going? You, honey. I'm, going? I'm going. Is that any of your business? Yeah. <laughs> it's my business. When are you going home? Uh, next Monday. Next Monday. Well, that's that's another week. Good. Okay. What airline do you fly? United. But well, she's going to San Francisco. Oh no. Four no. Five diamonds. Cash. Oh, she's still in <laughs> What you said? What you said? <laughs> I, said I, I said five diamonds. Five I have to buy some Hershey bars <laughs> next yeah, time I go to Five no. I five said five no. I have to say uh, whatever you say. Uh, six diamonds. Who said it that? Who said it that? What the hell were what you were asking, asking for? for then?
I said four no. Yeah. Yes. That's asking aces. Five right. no is and asking kings. King. So Charlotte. Right, yeah. Oh, I don't have any diamonds. Boy, babe. Not one. God, Charlotte. Grandma, uh, do they know how to play? Five diamonds. Do they know how to play? You? You open? No. She opened a club. I and said, I said three clubs. And you said diamonds. Mm -hmm. you, you, did you give a double jump right away? No. Why? Because every time I show a new suit, it's kept open now. Hey, yeah, girl, girl, a girl, well, that's why I kept um, going. I jumped in three. Girl, all go right. Oh, you're going to go on. Oh, 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 oh my wait a minute. Uh, uh, push it down, please. Oh, what a pity. Oh, what a pity. A pity and a shame. A pity, pity, a pity. A 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 pity, a pity. About to take the grand tour, le grand tour of apartment 410, the Levenbergs. Come on in. Oh, Barbara Streisand is blasting. Grandma's favorite music. We're in the entranceway. Note the shaggy green carpeting. We'll just go right into the kitchen. That's where all the strudel happens. All the cookies, all the macaroni, breakfast table. Dining room. TV room. Bedroom for most grandchildren and children of Thelma and Milt. Grandpa's desk. He's got a lot of work, a lot of bills. The living room. Grandpa's closet, a few sweaters there, a couple pairs of pants, whoa, grandma's closet, a couple pairs of shoes there, not too many, and we find ourselves once again in the hallway. Or want any pictures, two sticks of margarine softened. Okay. This is the mango bread recipe. Awesome. Okay. Got you. Okay. okay. What's this? That doesn't belong in the mango bread. <laughs> what is it? And one and a half cups of sugar. Sugar. That's a lot of sugar. That's sugar. No, that's. And out comes the mango bread. <laughs> Just let it uh, beat a while till it. You know how it does. Grandma, whenever you're looking for it. So. so they're going to chop up the nuts. How do you chop up the nuts? <laughs> you want both oh, of these? Oh God, yes, they're pretty though, both of them. So what kind of nuts are those, Grandma? Almonds. It's mandel bread always has almonds. Unless you want to put pecans or walnuts in it. Okay. But the original recipe is almonds. Got you? Now I need some vanilla in there. Oh, yeah. And Alice, work hard. And vanilla in there. I know. You have to, she has to put some 
I'm going to put a very important ingredient. Which is? Yes, she Which did. Which one? In teaspoon vanilla. Of vanilla. Vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla, Greg. What happens if you don't have that kind of a chopper thing? I have a different kind of monster. And so do I. You can put it in the cuisine eye, too. Of course. Or you buy. You buy the ground yes, almonds. I forgot yeah, to buy them. Why didn't you buy Because I didn't know I was going to give it to my grandchildren. They don't yeah. take forever. That's all right. That's good for your... Which arm are you using? Tell me. The wrong arm. What do you want me to do? Chat with my left? Yes. Good. Out of the Is way. Is that even chopping anything? It doesn't feel like it to me. Let's see. Let me look on it. It's not down right. Margarine and sugar that has been creamed. Then you add the eggs slowly. For Get out of the way, Al. Well. Can I have a teaspoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of vanilla? So so far we have margarine, sugar, and eggs. Vanilla and mm -hmm. eggs. Gotcha. And, and we're gonna add flour slowly. And we're gonna add flour. Okay, right. Uh, four ounces of 
We didn't oh, man, they claim it. Hey, let me have No, no, this is two. Let's, let's just look at the beginnings of the applesauce here. There it is. Oh, gosh, applesauce. You're making pink applesauce because you left the skin on. Right. flour too because you have to, to be, be able to shape it. Yeah, though. right, Charlie. I think you will have mm -hmm. to put a little more flour. Where's the flour? Right we there. We used it up. That's sugar. Huh? That's sugar? That's flour. Did we put the flour yeah, in? that's flour. You're right. Taste it. Is it? Taste it. Yeah. Sweet enough? And then we're putting yeah, that then we put the, then you put the sugar out and the cinnamon on it. What, what is this? Quarter? Just about. What does it say there? Well, that's what you use for a quarter. It, it might be a third. I'm. Yeah, this is a third. Uh huh. Well, it may need it. It has to be so you can shape it into a little. Yeah. Water. <laughs> well, more, I think. You could also Dog put it in the refrigerator for. Oh. Yeah, that's what we do. You do. Who I do? You made it. Who do? Mom and I put put it in the refrigerator when we're making butter cookies. Oh, yeah, I'll see. that we do too. <laughs> those easy butter cookies are so one. We haven't made those. No, Alice, I love them. Nothing but flour and, and, and butter. butter and <laughs> nuts and, nuts. and sugar. Well, that goes on top. The pecan. No, I used to do it with the ground nuts. Well, you could, but I put just put the half the pecan on the top, shape oh. the little round thing, and I'm talking about the round balls so we that's made. That's what I'm talking about. You flatten the ball a little bit. I don't flatten. I don't Comes out it. the same thing. Then you roll it in powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. I used to make tons of those. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the Russian tea cookie? It's the easiest one in the world to make. Huh? No, it's not the same thing as tea. Yeah, I am in excess. No, so, uh, I don't have any. I don't think so, huh? Oh, Lila was just going to throw hers away. Wait, come on. I give it away. Is there any more, Thelma? Yeah, it's gone on, Grandma. Is it? Right. Yeah. Oh, there. Don't. What's right in there? there? You need it. What's the problem? It's not actually really in. Mandy, you don't have vanilla in <coughs> there. Vanilla. Oh, you're right. <coughs> I'll write it again. Oh God. Grandma. Really? You're going to asphyxiate us. <coughs> That's that odor. No, it's this ozone busting can of ham. Is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, oh. Silly. Yeah, I smell it too. Okay. But it's at the end, that's why. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, I've never seen this. I've never seen this either. Okay, so wetting her hands before she works with the dough. Well, and they're little, huh? Maybe I better make one with you. Yeah, Mama. They're what? little you ones, huh? Yeah. Little, little, little flat loaves? Yeah. Then what did you do? Put on top. Well, you put the sugar, sugar on sugar. now? Yeah. I don't think I put enough oh. water on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, Thelma? If you want to. Oh, after it's sliced. Oh, Grandma. <laughs> it's sticking to my hands. Did you wet your hands? Yeah. Put it back in there, will you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Mandy. Go ahead, Mandy. Do you know what to do? What? Put a little oil on your hand after you Next time? Yeah. And then it'll roll right off. It was just an excuse so I could eat. But no. Now you can make bigger loaves. And Alice, are you catching this? Are you watching now? Yeah, I can see how you're doing this. Just bring it with sugar first. And then again after it's sliced. That's how baby I'm going to never put on a sheet with too much sugar in cinnamon. Yeah. Karen, we're going to run out of the dishes. You want me to put it on? Yeah, it's it's an almond flavor too, if you like the taste. So, Grandma's got about five loaves. We're going to go into the oven. Huh? Don't really forget to put the sugar on it. Yeah. Don't forget to put cinnamon and sugar and very much wet your hands when you're working with the dough. Otherwise, it'll stick, as we saw by my poor example. <laughs> These are the loaves before they're baked. 
the ranch. Price and the premium price above their current price, which has helped push this higher. Also, some of these companies have bought back stock over time. And the second factor has been many of these companies, as they have gotten larger, have been able to lower their costs and therefore raise their profits. The aerospace group was up 62% according to S&P last year. Quite a move to the upside. About uh, 35 minutes. 35 minutes. Very sale brown. Oh, God, it's hot. Yeah, don't try to take it off. What do you do, loosen them, honey? Slide it off. Slide it off. Oh, so you slide off the model bread onto a cutting board. Uh huh. Mm, that breeze is delicious. Yeah. And Aunt Alice is learning too because she she's never made my big board anymore. She's never made this kind of model bread. I had right? one great big one. We all had them. Big, big. Sure. I don't think I kept it, I don't know. So, Grandma, how long do you let it cool for? Just uh, about 10 minutes. That's all? Yeah. You can even slice it. Then. With a salad knife, is that what you need? Okay, so you can slice the mandel bread even when you just take it out of the oven. You can use a serrated knife. And it diagonally. Diagonally. But just carefully, because it can break. It can break easily. Yes. And you should have your cookie sheet right there and lay it right there. Oh, right. Excuse me. On a cookie sheet, which is ungreased. Yeah, of course. Just be careful, because it can break. Yeah. Can't you wait a little longer? I don't have to. She's not patient enough. That's true. So you slice it like bread. Uh huh. Mandel bread. That's, That's what, what it is. is. Mandel bread. Did you know how to do that, for God's sake? Yes. <laughs> so Grandma then, after she slices it, puts it onto the cookie sheet again, because it's going to go back you into the oven. That. She um, sprinkles it with cinnamon and sugar, because that's how the cinnamon sugar will stick, when the bread is still slightly warm. Very okay, so she puts it back in the oven. And you know what? You have to turn all those over. She puts it back in the oven at 350 until it browns, and then she turns, it, flips it over. And, oh gosh, this is going to be a lot of mandel bread. Wow, a lot of monkey so business. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've seen what it takes, and wash all those pans, and before and I, oh, I'm you buying it. When, you do it when the uh, cooking people are there. Sure. And Alice concludes she's fine. Two sticks softened margarine, one and a half cups sugar, two teaspoons vanilla flavoring or almond flavoring. Mix in the mix master. Add four eggs. Also mix in another separate bowl, four and a fourth cups flour, two and a half tablespoons baking powder. Mix together and add slowly into the batter. Add the almonds. If sticky, add more flour. You should have preheated the oven at 400. Um, put them in until they're light brown, about 20 minutes. Handle with very, oh, with very wet hands. Well, that was from previous instructions. And put the sugar and cinnamon mixture on top. Take out of the oven, cut while warm, and then put back in the oven at 350 until light brown. Turn sides over. And there you go, model bread. Mandy, if you don't stop with the video cameras already. What's going to happen? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I got <to> cry. <laughs> Mandy's leaving us, and I'm going to be very sad. She's full of vim and vigor, and keeps <laughs> us on vinegar. our toes. Mm -hmm. Can Mandy you guys sing it? me the song, the two of you together? Oh, yeah, dear Mandy. Oh, dear Mandy, soon a spinster you will be. Find a nice young man to marry. Find a man and set us free. Oh, dear Mandy, oh, dear Mandy, you will soon a spinster be. Find a nice young man to marry. Find a young and set us free. Set your parents free, really, not us. <laughs> okay, Grandma, any final words? No final words. Just get dressed and get ready to get
out into the <laughs> real <laughs> world and, earn some and money. make a little money. And for ask him for more money. Don't forget your stuff there. I won't. You, okay. you have to ask him for more money. You've got to ask him for more money. Yes, dear, because that is not enough to live on. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will? She okay. do it. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. She's so nice. It. I loved having you. Christine. Come back soon. Farewell. <sighs> Again. Grandma. I love you. Goodbye. It's been wonderful. Mm -hmm. Come back soon, darling. Why? What do you want now? <laughs> Oh, God, I'll be so glad when so she glad goes when with she's that camera. <laughs>